This somehow has become the jewel of the ball. Like the, the, the bell of the ball is right here. Um, so this is the Nintendo Versus side by side. Uh, it was designed to have two games in it, one on each side, or to run something like tennis, where you could have all four players play tennis at one time. This has been converted to two gun games. I've never seen anything like this. Um, so they have two of the Nintendo guns, replacing two of the, the sticks. Um, I've never seen anything like this, because these cabinets generally weren't designed uh, really to have the gun games in them. It was more Nintendo trying to get the four-player action out. Um, but in the, the whole versus game line was, was pretty strange. Uh, allegedly, this was turned on because I've had a lot of people messaging me about this saying they're about to spend a fortune on it. So um, I think this will set an all-time record. I don't even know for sure. I, I, I'm obviously interested from like an arcade nerd standpoint, but I'm not sure how interested I am given the condition and the quality. And if you've been in our warehouse, if you've watched some of our warehouse videos, you know we actually have a couple of these just sitting because they're not really that functional. Although we love them. Dig Dug, maybe, real? I mean, it's it's in rough shape. Missing buttons, the volcano's gone. Let's see, will it turn on? Oh, it's looking good. There it is. This is, a, a by all accounts, a real Dig Dug. Has the hardest joystick I've ever tried to use. But, oh, it's gonna go. Oh, all right, it's been in better condition, but Someone at least tried to wipe it. You can see by all the dirt that's been moved around. Defender Stargate, the, um, I think I talk about this on almost every auction. If you've seen our walkthroughs, you've seen quite a few of these. Uh, we are gonna make it a priority to get one out for free play Fort Worth. Um, we think that's a good launch game. So uh, if you see me buying it, who knows, maybe some of the parts will end up at free play Fort Worth. Uh, Global VR, Arcade Classics, another home use licensed um, multi gate Kind of nice, we got Guitar Hero coming on next to us. Uh, a game that's been requested quite a bit, but I honestly just, um, it, it really, these, these music games, especially things like Guitar Hero, really tend to take you out of that 80s arcade feel that we, we try to kind of cultivate. So we, we haven't figured that out yet. Uh, Puzzle Bobble, Bust a Move, Neo Geo One Slot, looks okay. Uh, Time Pilot, one of my favorite games, Wrong Stick. Um, Obviously, but uh, you know, it's a great game. I don't know how that'll play now. This is cool This is really interesting, and I'm, I think it's really neat Soul Calibur 3 arcade edition I had to when I saw the photo of this I had to look it up I was unaware that Namco put Soul Calibur in one of these cabinets, but they did this is a real one um, This is of course known mostly as the Tekken 5 cabinet, but Namco generally was putting both their Soul Calibur series and um, Tekken in the same cabinets, so here you are uh, Commando that I've heard a lot of people talking about. Uh, I can't remember where we have a Commando. Probably at Arlington. Um, it's a cool game, but um, really kind of killed by its single-player nature. Like, if you had two friends running around being Commandos, it's a lot more fun than just ha having to take turns one-on-one. -on -one. A uh, sports station that it looks that's set up for two players and has just one of the really bad LCDs that you see on these arcades sometimes. Also a little loud. Uh, Frogger, now this one looks a lot better than the other one. Uh, looks normal, looks neat. Playing well. Yep. Oh! Alright, that's good. Battle Shark is really cool. I probably won't buy this because we already have one in our Arlington location. But I think it's one of the really kind of neat experiences that uh, you could find in like a 90s arcade. Um, don't really need more than one, but it's kind of neat. It's got periscope action. Normally has flashing lights and everything. Doesn't seem to be, doesn't have everything working, but man, I do love that game. Speed Buggy is one of my all time favorite games. Um, this monitor looks really cool too. The great colors, but then it also has uh, some sort of probable, probably fixed with a capacitor issue. I don't know. I've never seen anything like that actually. Um, Speed Buggy is a great game. I put it out sometimes just because I think it's awesome, but most people don't like it as much as I do. Mad Dog 2, Laserdisc game. Um, definitely looks like a Laserdisc going out. I mean, monitor maybe oversaturated, I can't tell. Uh, Return of the Jedi, We've uh, you can watch a YouTube video that we made on the uh, early Star Wars series. We did a little kind of mini documentary. Uh, Return of the Jedi, I think is really awesome. Raster game. Controversial because it didn't use the sounds from the movie. They didn't have the license. And so some of it sounds really weird if you're a big Star Wars fan. Uh, Donkey Kong, it's not on. Simpsons, which looks like it either has a flat tube or an LCD. 
um, with the wrong joysticks. This is like a re clear rebuild that someone did, and I actually kind of recognize some of the artwork, so I'm pretty sure this one has been around before, but uh, these joysticks now, we're seeing them sell for $300, $400 a set. Um, and we, we, we really pride ourselves on making sure we have the, the right joysticks, especially at our free play locations. Cyberball, um, oh, next to a Sun, there's a Sunset Rider to squeeze in there. It looks like a, a similar rebuild, similar types of sticks and everything. Replacement sticks, haven't seen it on. Then a Cyberball, we have three or four Cyberballs that you've seen in our warehouses. We're still trying to get it really good to come out. Every time we've put out the game, and we've done it a few times, the game just doesn't survive very well. So it, I, you'll probably see me impulse buy this just because I can't seem to help myself when I'm around the Cyberball, but we need, really need to get one out. Then we've got a Galaga, looks normal, looks original. Uh, Double Dragon 3, I think this might, that one might have been in the last auction. It's in a midway cabinet with a lot of interesting stuff. Uh, Double Dragon 3 is, is more loved than D Double Dragon from some people, but not exactly the best game. Next to a cool little classic lineup, we got Millipede. I haven't seen, oh, it is on. Uh, Millipede's cool, it was a launch game for Freeplay Richardson. We haven't had it out in a long time. Next to Karate Champ, a game that I just went through our numbers on as we got ready for Fort Worth. We actually have four of those, so we probably need to chill out on the Karate Champs. Next to a Centipede that appears to be working okay. The danger here um, with, and I'll have Josh try to identify some stuff later, uh, all of these classics that we have, uh, all of them could be emulated, uh, and we won't know until we play or see them turned on again. Uh, looks like a attempt at a double Donkey Kong. This is really interesting. They put the they built a little marquee holder so they put Donkey Kong Jr.'s marquee on top of the cabinet. I, that's another thing I've never seen before. Um, and it's, yeah, it is. It, it appears to be running the original Double Donkey Kong. You've seen uh, as close to dedicated Double Donkey Kong on some of our podcasts in the background, and that, uh, we've actually decided to take that game to uh, Freeplay Fort Worth. So we're pretty pumped about that. Uh, then a multi gate, but I want to show y'all. This is kind of interesting. It looks like the operator actually cared about building this Burger Time multi gate. Now I hate the fact that it's in a cool Burger Time cabinet, but you'll notice it has a trackball. It's got the three buttons, and it seems to be well done. And it's running maybe an actual Midway Classics board? Well, uh, this will probably not sell for as high as it should. We won't buy it because it's not what we do, but that's that's really nice, really neat. Uh, we, next to a Galaga we haven't seen turn on, a 19-in-1 uh, multi-williams, maybe a J-Rock if we're lucky, but uh, I think most people watching this would be horrified to see the LCD screen and all sorts of hacked up everything. Uh, we've got Dead Tron next to a working Tron. Tron famously is something that basically has to be in all of our arcades, uh, but is debatable the merits of the game, would be the uh, diplomatic way to put that. No, not very many people like the game once they play it, but it does look so cool and it is really neat. And we do have some top players in the area, so it's nice to have. Next to a Miss Pack, next to a Miss Pack cocktail, next to another Miss Pack that hasn't been turned on. Um, interesting. We always like to buy them, and, and we're in the market for Miss Packs right now, actually, as we've, we've kind of gone through our inventory. Uh, next to just a seemingly well built, it looks like it's running the um, one of the, the larger multi games instead of just the 16 one. Next to something tighter did, which is kind of cool to see pop up in the arcades now. Um, the newer arcades, the uh, pin stacks or Dave and Buster's or main events or whatever you have around you. You'll often still find one of these as like lip service to the retro crowd, um, which is a better than nothing, but not something we'd ever be interested in. Next to another thing that happened uh, 10 or 15 years ago, maybe even longer now, um, and you can see these all came from the same location, and oh, that's really interesting. So look, you can see the pricing on here, 50 cents on each one of them. An operator bought three modern but re-release retro games. So they have a retro game lineup. And though it's all emulation and some of the emulation is actually quite bad, it's kind of really interesting because they were able to get Miss Pack, Regular Pack, Galaga, Donkey Kong, Mario Brothers, Donkey Kong Jr., Kicks, and Space Invaders all out in a modern era with modern release games that are more reliable than the originals. So um, it's, I, they're all here at auction, so I guess it didn't work out. But it, in another life, I would have been really tempted to buy that and put this at like a uh, laundromat or something, because that would be really neat to walk in and find. Uh, next to another Miss Pack I haven't seen on, next to a full skin 16-in-1, next to another cocktail 16-in-1. 
And this is really cool. This is actually one of the, the sadder stories. When I first got into arcades, um, which is almost 10 years now, uh, these little guys, the, ca the Midway Cabarets, were like gold. Everyone was trying to find them. Everyone wanted to buy them uh, because they were one of the, the best home use arcades. They really come back. They play great. They, they are really attractive. The prices on these have gone down quite a bit now. Um, and this one's in kind of rough shape. I'm sure it won't sell too high, but maybe it'll be one of the first games coming up, so maybe they'll be able to squeeze uh, some cash out of it. We'll see.